Hey, what's going on everyone? How are you guys doing today? Welcome back to the scene 2 video. And starting today, we can finally get the new knife bow, the pre Astyanats 4. That's quite a name. <laughs> I'm not even sure if I said it right, but we're going with it. But yeah, we can finally get this bow. It is their reward for this week's Grandmaster. If you want to get yourself an adept one. So I decided why not let's take a look at some of the perks that it's got. See what some of the best ones are. And let me just tell you about them. So let's get into it. Alright, so we're going to be starting off with the first column. And there's not too many good perks in the first column. Most of the good ones are in the second one. Uh, we have Perpetual Motion for more stability, handling, and reload speed when they're in motion. It's a pretty good perk. Not a bad one. Uh, you can use it for both PvP or PvE. But then we have something like Archer's Temple, which I think is probably the best perk in this column. Which reduces our draw speed for every precision hit. This is good for both PvP or PvE. Doesn't matter what you're playing, it's always better to you shoot the ball faster. Uh, especially if you're trying to use this as an anti-champion weapon for PvE. Archer's Temple is definitely a must-have. This column also has Shoot the Loot, which can be nice for PvE. But I'm not sure if I would take Shoot the Loot on a bow. That's pretty much going to be up to you. You want to go for Shoot to Loot for PvE. But now let's move on to the second column. Because that's really what the good perks are at. We have Incandescent. Which is going to be kind of nice. But I feel like Incandescent on a bow is just not enough. It's nice and it's satisfying seeing the Incandescent explosions. But I feel like you have other perks in this bow. Where Incandescent... Is just not as good as maybe it is on like a hand cannon or an auto rifle or just something else that shoots faster than the bow. Next up, we have Collective Action, which I think is an okay perk. Uh, you get a 20% damage increase for PvE, and it's fairly easy to keep it up. In PvE, uh, you usually keep it up a pretty good amount of time. In Crucible, it doesn't really do as much because it's not a 20% damage increase, it's only a 10 in Crucible, I definitely wouldn't recommend it there. I don't think it does enough there. Uh, for PvE, it is a 20% damage buff that can be kept up fairly easy. So it's easier to see it there. But I'm still not super sold on it. Next up, we have Successful Warm Up, which is going to reduce our draw time uh, whenever we get a kill. Not much I can say about it besides having your draw time speed increase. It's a pretty good thing. You know, you can shoot a little faster. With successful warm up active. Next up, we have opening shot, and this is pretty much the perk that you want if you're gonna use this bow in Crucible. Uh, opening shot applies to every shot on the bow, so every shot just has more aim assist, more range, and just better accuracy. So, if you want this bow for the Crucible, this is the perk that you want. In PvE, you don't really want opening shot. The next two perks are really the PvE perks that you should be looking for. The first one is Explosive Hit. Explosive Hit just straight up just gives you more damage uh, without even having to do anything. Just by having the perk, you're going to be doing more damage. So yeah, that's pretty crazy. You straight up just get passively more damage. There's no catch. You don't have to do anything else. Your bow just does more damage. That is actually really strong, so I definitely recommend Explosive Hit. And the last perk that I want to talk about, and the reason why I kind of wanted to make this whole video, is Precision Instrument. Dealing sustained damage increases precision hit damage. So you get a damage boost for not even getting kills, but just getting hits. Especially if you're hitting like a beefy target, like a champion or a major, something that you're going to be hitting quite a bit, trying to like break their shield or just doing damage to them. Precision Instrument and the extra precision damage that it gives you is going to be pretty good. It gives you a little bit more than just something like Explosive Head. Even though Explosive Head is just passive and you actually have to build up a Precision Instrument, you do end up with a bigger damage boost in the end after a couple of hits. So I actually would recommend either Explosive Head, Precision Instrument, or if you really have like a solar build going, Maybe some incandescent. Although, like I said, incandescent, I would think that there's some better weapons like SMGs and auto rifles that can get incandescent that would probably do a better job than the bow. But, you know, it is an option. And if you pair up Precision Instrument with something like a Archer's Temple, that would be really good. 
Explosive Head with Archer's Temple again. That would also be really good. And Incandescent with Archer's Temple again would also be really good. <laughs> Archer's Temple in that slot is just like so much better than the other perks. Like, they really put all the good perks in one column and then put Archer's Temple in the other one. The other one is the Archer's Temple column. But yeah, those are some of the perks that like caught my attention. Another thing about this weapon is that it does have the wild card uh, origin trait, so it does get a bit of extra damage through that, just dropping the Telesta bolts on the ground. It could be pretty interesting for like Crucible, or just getting some extra damage in PvE. The wild card perk is like quickly becoming one of my favorite like origin trait perks, so I put it on whenever I do have it on the weapon because it's just it's just good. <laughs> it's just a good like origin trait. Overall, I think this bow is pretty solid. My main draw towards this bow is just kind of being able to use the Adept mods. So that's going to be the biggest thing when using this bow over some other bows. That has got some pretty decent perks. And you can actually put Adept mods on it. while still be in a precision frame. Um, so, if you're a bow main, if you're a fan of the bows, I think you'll like this one. And hopefully you'll go for a good roll. And hopefully you'll get it. But anyways, with that, we're going to end today's video talking a little bit about the bow, what I think about it. Let me know in the comments below. Are you going for the bow this week? Are you going to be trying to get a god roll? What roll are you looking for? Tell me in the comments below. With that, we're going to end today's video. Thank you all for watching, everyone. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, everyone. Have a good day. Peace.